Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday. We're coming at you with uh, our 10 box spring training warm up baseball mixer. Nice, baseball's back, folks. I'm watching some spring training games. MLB Network has has uh, Nationals and Astros, a World Series rematch here. A good rivalry match here. Dodgers at Giants in Arizona. They're up 5 nothing in the third. So all sorts of fun stuff happening. And this is going to be a good break, too. Got a lot of nice stuff in here. Uh, tons of parallels, a lot of teams, the usual no paper base, veteran comments, blah, 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 blah. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. All the teams are in right here. And let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a six, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got Derek down to Tommy. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And good luck, everybody. Tenth and final time. After ten, we've got the Yankees on top and the Miami Marlins on the bottom. So here's how it shakes out. Derek with the Yankees, Tony with the Braves, Robert with the Padres, Chris with the Tigers, Rob with the Giants, John with the Phillies, Nancy, you got my Dodgers, Rick with the Brew Crew, Brian, last spot Mojo star next to your name, Reds for you, Andrew with the Rocks, Steven with the Cubbies, Brian with the Orioles and the Nationals, Oliver, Twins, Rick with the Astros, Yervin with the Rangers, Michael with the Rays, Jeremy Miller with the Diamondbacks, Eric with the A's, Tommy, you got the Mets, Kelvin with the Blue Jays, TJ with the Angels, Rob with the Pirates, Jeff with the Cardinals, Shinsuke with the Red Sox, Rob with the Royals, Ryan C with the Mariners, Rob with the White Sox, Andrew Webb, Indians, Tommy with the Marlins as well. So let's sort by team, by column B, and I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trades while I go grab the boxes for the mixer. Remember, keep in mind the different years and the different types of product that's in this set. So trade at your own risk if you'd like, but feel free to trade. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So a little bit of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no deals were done. That's all right. Time to break. So that list right there you see remains the same. Good luck to all, and thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. So we've got a lot going on here. We've got the two super jumbos right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to save these for the end. Eight, nine, and then... One bat out of a fresh case right here. Three bats in there. We'll mark them and we'll randomize them and we'll see which one we do. We'll probably just generate a number. We'll get that done a little bit later. All right. Let's go, let's go back in time. Should we do these in, in chronological order? I think so. <clears throat> let's go back in time to 2016. 2016 Donruss Optic Baseball. With DeGrom on the front, two autographs per box on average. Good luck. Or maybe we'll do the Panini ones first. Maybe we'll do the two Paninis first, and then we'll get into 2018. But save the five star and the triple threads until last. Something like that. We'll figure it out, folks. Just roll with it. We're just rolling with it. Let's talk a little baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Who's your team? Let us know what your team is. And let me know, uh, maybe in like a quick sentence, what your expectations for the team are this year. 
trendsetter, what's going on? <laughs> you, were, you I got that Rescue Rangers theme song stuck in your head. I'm telling you, folks, if you go to Spotify, they have the full version of the Rescue Rangers theme song. It is fire. This is an excellent saxophone solo in the middle of that, if you're into that sort of thing. Sean, what's a... No. You can't. You'd have to, to give us your, your resume, your qualifications... Approval processes and everything. We don't know how well it can take direction from me and Nick. Also, all sorts of important things. Back to the future. Omar Vizquel, right out of the gate. You can just walk in and just start working. That goes to Seattle. That'll be for Ryan. Ryan C. with that one. 110 out of 150, John Lamb. Is this a hot box? Rated rookie autograph going to Jeremy Miller and the Diamondbacks. Hey, hey, things are going to be a lot of fights break out because of the Astros this year. I wonder how the how the umpires are going to are going to handle that. I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. We got, I think this is no, just a variation here. Joey Bats. But I wonder if, if, if umpires will try to nip it in the bud and be like, hey, listen, don't – every game, every Astros game they're calling, it's like, don't do it, you know? I could see them doing that. There's Elias Diaz. Yeah, it is a hot box. Optic autographs. That'll be for the Pirates. Rob with the Pirates. Cameron or uh, Colton says Braves. He thinks Acuna is going to win the MVP, and then you'll end up choking in the first round of the playoffs. I don't know. All they need is a little experience. One second. It's Carl Edwards Jr. 113 out of 150. That all comes into play. Cameron's thinking Dodgers to make it uh, make it to the World Series. It's his team. Mookie NL MVP. Decon saying Mariners will suck, but not bad enough to get a top five pick. It's kind of mid middle of the road, I guess. J Docs is Dodgers World Series champion. There's Eddie Rosario. Three out of ten. Nice Eddie Rosario. Twins are gonna I think are gonna have a good season. Oliver with the Twins. I thought I thought Sean, you wanted to work here. Comments like that's not gonna help. Can't trust you on air. 23 out of 35, Socrates Brito, rated rookie, Jeremy Miller. And there's Albert Pujols as well. That'll go to the Angels. I think the Angels will be fine this year, Cameron. I mean, they still have Mike Trout. They've got some youngsters coming up the ranks. They need to address pitching issues. That pitching is going to be an issue. I don't think there's really anyone convincing in that starting rotation. But And what, Otani's not, I mean, how many starts is Otani going to make? Not as many. Yeah, I saw King Felix looking good today. Your Chronicles. Did she take picture? That's cool. Yeah. Colton thinks the Reds will shock the NL and make the playoffs. I could see that. I could see that happening. Where's my camera? I don't know. It's dead. We've got rookie jersey autographs. Bryce Wilson. Yeah, try 
Bryce Wilson for the Braves. Tony Barkey with that one. 44 out of 99. 43 out of 50. Eloy Jimenez. White Sox. John Duplantier could be an interesting player this year, too. Max Muncy, Relic. That's to 25. You need to send your resume in, Sean. It's Pete Alonzo. You got to get interviewed by us. Got to go through a process. Background checks. Background checks, too. I mean, if, you, if there's any... I mean, we're, we're entrusting you to handle some valuable product here, so... There's Otani right there. Otani MVP? What's more valuable than, than a player being able to start 25 games and maybe hit 30 home runs in a season? It's pretty valuable. It's Matt Olson, 1 out of 99. That'll be for the A's. That'll be for Eric Brand. Oh, there it is. What happened? Did you just an unplug, replug kind yeah. of situation? All right. yeah. That's all it takes. All right, so there's the Nick Cam up there, ladies and gentlemen, where you can see him out. rip open some packs here. The Dodgers on? Yeah, on MLB TV. I think games are free today on MLB.tv. 34 out of 49. Well, oh, on the website. The network has this game on. Oh, but don't... There. Isn't it like MLB Game Pass free? That's what I'm saying. I think it's free. I, oh, I don't know. Actually, maybe... Sorry, we've got fancy DirecTV here. We could see if... Isn't it on like... Uh, I guess we don't get that. I guess we'll have to watch the Angels. Yeah, sure. You can use me as a reference, Sean. <laughs> Call myself. Ooh! Fernando Tatis Jr. 6 out of 99. What a, what a nice mixer here, Nick. What was, else was hit so far? Some nice stuff. There was there was uh well we got a hot box. Oh. The nice. optic was I mean there wasn't anything huge in there but it, there was it was a hot box we got extra autos. Fernando Tatis Jr. going to Rob Edwards Robert Edwards with the Padres got randomized the Friars and hit the Fernando Tatis Jr. Very nice. All right. Here's the turkey red oversized from the series one that Nick is opening right. This is current series one, by the way. And there's Josh for the Pirates. Yeah, there you go, hey hey, nice hit. Very nice hit. So if you remember from our Dallas trip, the cards after these foil cards tend to be some sort of variation or short print or something like that. So we'll pull those. I think everything else is just commons. Colton is ready to see Luis Robert. It's Luis Robert, apparently. And there's Tino Martinez autograph. Nice. Six out of 25 for the Yankees. Derek with the Yankees. Nice. Yeah, I think White Sox could be a good team. I mean, spring training. Hope springs eternal. So I mean, all these prospects, whoever they are, you're, you're thinking, oh, they could they could be 
rookies of the year. They can be amazing. They could be this. They could be that. It's a, it's a good time of year. Sounds like a casino. Sounds like a slot machine. Oh. This guy, not, 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 not good. There's got to be some good heckling for Mr. Reese McGuire. I don't think he's really going to lose first. He's, he's not going to start? No, they got Danny Jansen at catcher, right? Yeah. I think he's like a fringe guy last year. Hmm. Well, I guess he won't get made fun of then. Maybe in minor league games? Maybe in my yeah, there could be some. The, the, like there's not enough noise, so you'll yeah, hear so the you'll fans. hear everything. Yeah, you'll hear the fans heckle Reese McGuire. But that's a challenge, though. Like you got to keep it clean so you don't get kicked out of the ballpark. You know, but well, you try to be clever. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you wish this was a. Uh, Verd tree. <laughs> <laughs> there's Alex Verdugo and the Dodgers. Nancy with this medallion. Or just a classic, like, go back to Dollar Tree. Go back to Dollar Tree. Parking lot. Go back to the Dollar Tree parking lot. Do the Blue Jays have any pitching this year? They got Hyunjin Roo from the free agent from the Dodgers. So they signed him. I think Nate Pearson, I don't know when he's supposed to be up. There's Aquino for the Reds. I think Reds could have a good season too. Um, I think Nate Pearson is like a top 30 like MLB prospect. I guess according to MLB.com. Top 30 prospect, maybe even better. According to their latest rankings. So they've got some coming up the ranks. They've got some young hitting. You know, if, if, that, if that comes together, I'm sure there'll be some inconsistencies, but if that comes together, then uh, it can be in really good, it can be in really good shape. I'm not sure if division winning shape, but, you know, the Red Sox aren't going to be as good. The Yankees are going to be incredible. Rays are going to be really good. You don't think so? Not as much. I don't think they'll be as good as people say. Just that, that Garrett Cole hype. Everyone's like, oh my God, Garrett Cole. And then everyone just overrates them. Yeah. I can see that. And he was only, he was only like really good the second half of the year. He he wasn't like lights right. out the first half. There's gonna be a lot of pressure on him. Yeah. If he starts like April slow. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> New York like, me's gonna crush yeah, him. Yeah. Crush him. All right, and there's Ozzy Albie's 46 out of 199 for the Braves. Tony Barkey with the Braves. And they lost some decent players, you know, DD. Yeah, I mean, Dee Dee crushes in that ballpark. Wait, where did Dee Dee Gregorius end up? Pittsburgh? Where did Dee Dee Gregorius end up? Let's crowdsource this. Philadelphia? Philadelphia. You think Philly? Philly. Philly. Guaranteed it. I know now. I, I knew it was Pennsylvania. Ooh. And I was like, the Pirates can sign any free agents. <laughs> I don't know what the Pirates are doing. There's Steven Matz for the Mets. I think Stevie was a trade. 2020. Was he a trade? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe not. I'm sure it's Yeah, Colton confirms Phillies. Yeah. Phillies might be better this year. You got all those young players on the Phillies. They just got they just, they just have to put it all together. All right, so that was 2020 Series One baseball. We're running the fight. A lot of the exciting players there. Should we should we buy the fight? Are you gonna be here for the fight? I don't know what time. It's usually like it's like nine like or nine or ten or yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so this is 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. Twenty eighteen Bowman Draft Baseball. You were looking at Alec Thomas, top one hundred prospect, Grayson Rodriguez, Tristan Casas, Nico Herner, Nick Madrigal, Casey Mize is in there. Royals have Brady Singer, Daniel Lynch, Trevor Larnock, Jared Kalanick, Simeon Woods Richardson. It's a top hundred prospect. Alec Baum for the Phillies, Logan Gilbert, Nolan Gorman, Matt Libertor, Jordan Groshans, etc. 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 So there, there's a lot of different prospects that are in the MLB top 100 rankings that we can expect autograph-wise. That's what we're hoping for. Or parallels like this. There's Will Banfield, 9 out of 50. Yeah, Stripling ended up... Oh, and remember, paper doesn't ship, but everything else will. Joe Adele could have a big season this year. There's Brady Singer. And there's Grant Levine. Nice Grant Levine for the Rockies. Andrew Webb with their uh, late first round pick. Looks Rest like. in peace, Avril. Rest in peace, Avril? Levine. Is she not with us? She disappeared from the face of the earth. What happened to her? That's a huge conspiracy. Oh, man. Maybe she's with Brendan Fraser. And then they said that, like, this... Like the Avril Lavigne that came out a few years ago into the public is not the same Avril Lavigne. <laughs> this is like the there's an old uh, Paul McCartney is dead conspiracy back in the day yeah. that he got in a car accident and they got a body double to finish the rest of the Beatles' career because it's such a money maker. Fifty six out of two fifty. Jonathan Stiver. Yeah, the Ross Tripling that deal never ended up happening. I think the I think the Angels owner or their just their organization was like they didn't want to wait for the twins to finish the deal or something crazy like that and they said forget it. No strip, no Jock Peterson, they're still with the Dodgers. There's Grayson uh, Janista for the Braves. That will be for Tony. Trey says she married she married Chad Kroger from Nickelback. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she, She's not a cyborg. She's like fake Avril Lavigne. Because I know real Avril Lavigne would never marry the guy from Nickelback. Because she was so punk. Everyone remembers how punk she was? Man. Not the Avril Lavigne I know. Facsimile autograph. That's Adam Wolf, 72 out of 250. <laughs> That's right, Trey. Avril Levine was so punk. I mean, she's incredibly punk. This paper right there's Noah Naylor, the 4.99, and just just hardcore punk rockers like Avril Lavigne would not marry the guy from Nickelback. Uh, no Blue Jays yet, Kelvin. Until this guy, Jordan Groshans, just in time, 2.43 out of 2.50. Jordan Groshans, Blue Jays, who I think is shortstop Jordan Groshans. MLB.com has him ranked as the uh, 75th best prospect, the, the fantasy baseball league according the to the rankings. I'm thinking of doing weekly, so you said it's like fantasy football. Gotcha. How do you feel about that? I'm okay with that because I don't, I don't have like, enough. Uh, that's not like the... You know, like baseball, like it's all not, the DHs, this, that. It's not really the right way to do it, but I'll play it that way. Okay. Just because I don't do it in any other league, so it's interesting. Yeah. And head-to-head doesn't work, work as like, well. No, this is this is head-to-head, -head, but you set your lineup on Monday, 
and you, it's oh. locked for the whole week. If I'm doing, if it's yeah, like fantasy football. if I'm doing, if I'm doing a head-to-head league, I'd rather have it that way. Yeah, it's not daily. Right. Because otherwise, that's just, just it just gives advantage to someone who's whoever, just like, does, maybe yeah. gets off work at like 10, 10.30, yeah. goes home, and then just <laughs> rocks every lineup and waiver wire stuff. Right. If you do head-to-head, it's got to be once a week. Yeah. So then you have to plan ahead who are you, like your two-star pitchers yeah. and all that sort and of stuff, and then you take the that. that. Right. So. I agree with that. I like that. As a commissioner, I think that's the No, I like it. Yeah. I like it. If we're going to do head to head once a week, maybe makes it easier for some of the casuals to keep up. Yeah, to keep up. And trash talk. He's like, Joe, why'd you start that guy? That guy, you know, banged up. Yeah. And then he's not playing for three days, and there goes your, there goes your week. There's some more stakes there. I'll let you open the bat. Cool. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Nick making this break go a little bit faster, ladies and gentlemen, so we can get to the next break uh, much more quickly now. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm still on track for another half hour. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, now we can just breeze through cards, not really have to worry about ripping open packs. And we've got nice Matt Libertor. Another solid autograph right here. This is Tampa Bay Rays edition. And he is ranked, I did all this research last night just for you guys. He is ranked number 58 overall. In the 2020 MLB Top 100 Prospects rankings. But he's with St. Louis. Now this will still go to the Rays. This will go to uh, Michael A. But I think they traded him to the Cardinals. He, they, he was traded to the Cardinals. I don't know what the deal was, but I think some some uh, Rays supporters were not pleased with that because I think he's supposed to be a big deal, and I think Cardinals should be pleased with that. I don't know if he's going to start or whatever, but there's Jackson Godard. 43 out of 50, Jackson waiting for Godard, going to Jeremy Miller and the Snakes. Sorry, Jonathan India. Johnny Cannonson, Flawless is sold out. Nice. So I'll go through orders after this, after this break, and then we'll see. Flawless probably is going to come up next. There's 304 out of 499, Nick Prado. Wait, Calvin, there's one more. Hang on. It's Griffin Conine. Is that Jeff Conine's kid? That also goes to Calvin. All right, now you can go, Calvin. Um... Yeah, son of former MLB player Jeff Conine. Born three months before his dad won the 1997 World Series with the Marlins. There it is. Oh, Optic and Prism are sold out as well? Oh, okay, so then we'll have to... After this break, we'll go through orders and see which filled first, and we'll just go in the order that they filled. First to fill, first to break. There's Brian Mata to 150. And this is all just paper right here. All right, let's go to, let's go to that right there. That's 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball. That's the most recent one. And so a lot of, a lot of guys here too. Corbin Carroll, Shea Langliers, Adley Rushman, Andrew Vaughn, Nick Lodolo, Riley Green, J.J. Bladé, Brett Beatty, uh, Bryson Stott, C.J. Abrams, Hunter Bishop, George Kirby, Josh Young, among others. But those are some of the top 100 guys according to MLB.com, top 100 prospects.
All right, there you go. Another facsimile autographs. Tyler Brennan, any football going tonight? Yes. When it fills, it'll go. We got a 2 out of 25, Justice Sheffield for the Mariners. That'll be for Ryan, Ryan C. with that. There's our first autograph. There's Brewer Hicklin for the Royals. That's going to go to Rob. Someday he'll be, maybe he'll get traded to the Brewer someday. That'd be great. All right. Next little stack here. Facsimile autograph for Brendan McKay there, who should be a big rookie name this year. And we've got Atomic Brock Burke for the Rangers. And we'll go to Yervin. There's Brandon Marsh, 183 out of 299. Speckle for the Angels, that'll be for TJ. Bruce All Greaterall, who's on the Dodgers now. Should help in the in the bullpen, which I think would be a huge help. There's Cabrian Hayes to 499 paper. That's for the Pirates. Rob with the Buckos. Wander Franco, Bowman Sterling insert. That's for the Rays. Michael A with the Rays. All right, we got another two stacks. Of 2019 Bowman draft right here. I think we should be expecting a couple more autographs, I would say. Then we'll do the Bowman Chrome right there, the triple threads right over there, and this is the five star pack right there. And then we'll pick a bat. All right, good luck, everybody. All this paper. And there's Victor Victor Mesa. 237 out of 499 for the Marlins. That'll be for Tommy. And there's Josh Mears. Joshua Mears going to the Padres, Robert Edwards. Yeah, that's what I heard, Frank. I've been told that'll. Uh, I still have to go through orders after this, and then we'll see what filled first, and we can get it on the schedule.
I guess I'll put going through orders on the schedule too. There it is. Yes, Theoden. and I think someone told me that Flawless sold out too, earlier. I have no idea what sold out first, but we'll go through the orders after this and we'll see, we'll see who filled up what first and we'll just go in the order that they filled. There's uh, Grant Gambrill to 4.99. That'll be for the Royals. That'll go to Rob. And we've got for the Dodgers, Cody Hosey. That'll be for Nancy. And my Dodgers. Late first round pick. Maybe future future Justin Turner, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Going nuts. Okay, next Bowman draft stack here. Unbelievable. What a shot. Take it to the hole, baby. Tyler Callahan to 250 for the red legs. And Cameron Cannon. It's one of uh, maybe Johnny Cannon's relative right here. Katie Cannon? Maybe Katie Cannon. That's Shinsuke with the Red Sox. With the Cameron Cannon. Second round pick. There, this is for the Reds. That'll be for Brian. Sorry, Tyler Callahan. Fired up. Imagine if you did real March Madness games. I want to do real March Madness. He can't, right? Because of ESPN? Yeah. He does like NIT. Because March Madness on CBS. Right. And TV, all those. 45 out of 150. Like rediscovering where those channels are every March. Yeah. Like, what's his, what's the number again? We should post that to get uh, views to our website. We should. There's Antoine Kelly, 101 out of 150. Like what channel is True TV? We should. Just put it on the website. Just yeah. like do True TV for Direct TV and all the other major cable networks. Your one-stop channel guide. That goes to the Brewers. That'll be for Rick K with the Antoine Kelly Blue Wave. The Logan Gilbert is to 99. That goes to Ryan C with the Logan Gilbert. Who is a uh, who's in the top fifty, according to MLB? Do I, do I trust fish from a fast food restaurant? Let's say, I'd wager no on that. How about no? Why does Bowman still make paper? Because people still collect it. 71 out of 150, Le, uh, Lazaro Armenteros for Eric Brand. 
And there's Riley Green, 52 out of 499. Refractor autograph for the Tigers. Chris Parent with the Tigers. He's a uh, 31 on the MLB Top 100 Prospects for 2020. All right, three more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting to the good stuff. Here's Bowman Chrome from uh, 2018. All right, 21, 2018 Bowman Chrome, yeah. We've got Jay Groom, three out of five. 17, wasn't he supposed to be a big, big deal? I don't know where where his what his status is now, but that's for the Red Sox Shinsuke with the J Groom Gold Shimmer. No worries, Chris. It's a nice Riley Green. There's Gavin Sheets to two fifty. And there's Eduardo Diaz. Signing right on his thigh. And goes to Jerry Miller and the Diamondbacks. And is that some red? Ooh. Red Max Scherzer. Are these numbered to five? Yes. Four out of five. Red Max Scherzer for Brian. Brian M., who got randomized the Nets. Nice Mad Max. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And there's Riley Adams. A lot of Riley. 76 out of 499. We've got Riley Adams. Riley Green. Isn't there a Riley Pint on the Rockies? That goes to the Blue Jays for Kelvin. Austin Riley's. All right. Triple Threads. We've got a Redemption, which I think is a triple. I saw three names on there. 19 out of 36, triple autograph probably. 19 out of 36, Mookie Betts, Red Sox edition for Shinsuke. Out of 199, Masahiro Tanaka. Out of 250, 259, Frank Thomas. Starling Marte, 9 out of 27, Elite Leather. Um, no, it's not entirely gone, Sean. We may, we may fire up eBay breaks again someday. Rob with the Pirates. We got Garrett Richards, 28 out of 50, jersey and autograph for the Halos. That's going to be for TJ. It's Bo Jackson to 299. And Rocket Roger Clemens for the Red Sox to 199. That'll be for Shinsuke. The Royals card will go to Rob. Bo Jackson. All right. See the three names right there? It's going to be Adam Jones, Manny Machado, Trey Mancini, all Orioles. Triple Threads, Autograph, Relic, Combo Card, Silver Parallel. What are the Silvers number two? Does anyone know offhand? Brian Magnus with the Baltimore Orioles. Nice.
Nice. I think it's case case hit too. Five star. Use this blank card right here. Oh, this has a redemption in here too. Out of 18, says Tyler Brenner. That silver parallel, that's pretty cool. Another redemption down there. We got Ian Kinsler. Nice one. Angels edition of Ian Kinsler going to TJ. And it's a white redemption, not even a blue redemption. So this is pretty last minute. You are due to receive a base five-star autograph purple parallel of of J U Justin Justin No Juan Soto Juan Soto nice one for Brian Magnus and the Nationals Great mixer. There you go. Five star. That was the ninth box right there. All right, now let's get a bat going here. You can see it all taped up, sealed up here. face cam. Maybe I can do it this way. You can see one, two, three on there. Maybe if I could, I don't know, it's there. One, two, and three. Can I use this camera? There you go. One, two, and three. It's there. Trust me, it's there. So now we'll generate a number between one, two, and three. So let's go back to random.org. And let's generate a number between one and three. My mouse stops glitching out. There you go. All right, there it is. Let's generate a number, and it's going to be box one. Box one. Let's see who it's going to be. It's just one box. Now remember. It's not full case. Right. Our non-pro uniform, no checklist rules. Our non-pro uniform, no checklist rule applies. If it's uh, an active player, it'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're a retired player, it'll go to the team they play for the longest. Uh, by seasons, according to BaseballReference.com, with uh, games as a tiebreaker. What do we have here? Am I guessing? Uh huh. By the auto? No, it's oh, too easy. No, no, you're, you're you're too you're too good. That game is better. No, you're too good. That's why we stopped the game. <laughs> I like that game better. I think people would get it too. All right, I'm a retired baseball player. Played for one team my entire career. At third base and a little bit of time in left field. Born in Deland, Florida. Forty-seven years old. Switch hitter, and I, I threw righty. 
Made my debut in 1993. My last appearance was in 2012. Eight-time All-Star, a World Series champion, an NL MVP, two-time Silver Slugger, MLB batting champion. My number 10 retired. Part of, oh, everyone's got it. Sean Black, Blackout says Chipper Jones. Tyler Brenner, Chipper Jones. It's Chipper Jones. Braves Hall of Fame and inducted into the MLB Hall of Fame in 2018 with 97.2% of the vote first ballot. 303 batting average, 2,726 career hits, 468 home runs, and uh, 1,623 runs batted in. It's the chip off the old block, Chipper Jones. Got a black bat here. There's Chipper Jones right there. There's his upside down autograph. Let me actually bring this around this way. So you can see his autograph right there. Nice. He's got a good auto. We've got the Beckett Authenticity card right there. And on the bat knob on my face cam, there's the Beckett sticker. Rawlings Pro. Pretty nice. And that is for Tony Barkey and the Braves. So there you go, Tony. Nice Chipper Jones autograph going your autograph baseball bat going your way. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Jaspie's 10 box. Spring Training Warm-Up Baseball Mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe. I'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.